Hey everybody, Ace Channel Aleem here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Form Fight. Most of you know Form Fight by now. It's where we take a look at a Pokemon with more than one form, or a branched evolution, or a counterpart Pokemon. We have a look at the differences between them, and we try and figure out which one is the best. And so we can see them in action on the battlefield. We also have a metronome battle between them, just because it's fun to watch them use daft moves, isn't it? You lot have been loving Form Fight at the moment, and it's really making my 2020 to see all the support on it. So thank you so much for that. Make sure you let YouTube know that you're enjoying it by banging on that like button. Let's go for 1500 likes on this video. I think we could do that. Let's let YouTube know that we're here and we're staying and we're going to be around for a while. Hit subscribe because while we're here, you're going to want to watch every episode, aren't you? And of course, as always, don't forget, use code ACE, follow the link down in the description, save some money on G Fuel. Oh, did I make a really squeaky noise when I drank that? Because it was peach mango and it was freaking awesome. <laughs> but with all that out of the way, let's have a look at today's challenges. Today on Form Fight, we're going to be comparing two legendary counterpart Pokemon from the Galar region, which are Zacian and Zamazenta. And there are other forms, which we'll get to in a sec. Whenever you have a Zacian or a Zamazenta in your party, it will always be in its regular form, known as the Hero of Many Battles form. However, if you have your Zacian hold a rusted sword, when it's sent out into battle, it will be in its crowned sword form. And if you have your Zamazenta hold a rusted shield, when it's sent into battle, it will be in its crowned shield form. What makes these legendary Pokemon and their alternate forms so different? Let's take a look. According to the Pokedex, Zacian in Hero of Many Battles form is 2.8 meters tall and weighs 110 kilograms. It's both Pokedex information says, known as a legendary hero, this Pokemon absorbs metal particles, transforming them into a weapon it uses to battle. This Pokemon has slumbered for many years. Some say it's Zamazenta's elder sister. Others say the two Pokemon are rivals. Zamazenta, in Hero of Many Battles form, is 2.9 meters tall and weighs 210 kilograms. Its Pokedex information says, in times past, it worked together with a king of the people to save the Galar region. It absorbs metal that it then uses in battle. This Pokemon slept for eons while in the form of a statue. It was asleep for so long, people forgot that it ever existed. In Crown Sword form, Zacian is still 2.8 meters tall, but now weighs 355 kilograms. Its Pokedex information says now armed with a weapon it used in ancient times, this Pokemon needs only a single strike to fell even Gigantamax Pokemon. Able to cut down anything with a single strike, it became known as the Fairy King's Sword and it inspired awe in friend and foe alike. Zamazenta in crown shield form is still 2.9 meters tall and weighs 785 kilograms. The Pokedex tells us its ability to deflect any attack led to it being known as the Fighting Master's Shield. It was feared and respected by all. Now that it's equipped with its shield, it can shrug off impressive blows, including the attacks of Dynamax Pokemon. Appearance-wise, in their Hero of Many Battles forms, Zacian and Zamazenta both kind of look like ragged wolves, with Zacian having blue and white fur with a pink tail and pink braids, and Zamazenta having red and white fur with a dark blue tail and dark blue detailing. In their shiny forms, Zacian's pink braids turn to blue and its blue fur turns to a much brighter sky blue, and Zamazenta's blue areas turn red with its red fur then turning to pink. In crown sword form, Zacian now looks a lot healthier and has two full ears and has golden headgear along with large golden wing-like structures with a huge golden sword in its mouth, and its braids are now flowing locks. Zamazenta in crown shield form is now in much better condition as well and has a huge golden shield protecting the front of its body as well as similar golden headgear to Zacian. In their shiny forms, these Pokemon go through the same color palette changes as their previous forms. Now let's have a look at their typing, weaknesses, and resistances. Hero of Many Battles Zacian is a pure fairy type Pokemon, which makes it weak to poison and steel type moves. It resists fighting, bug, and dark type attacks and is completely immune to dragon type moves. Hero of Many Battles Zamazenta is a pure fighting type Pokemon. This makes it weak to flying, psychic, and fairy type attacks. It resists rock, bug, and dark type moves and has no immunities. In its crown sword form, Zacian is now a dual type fairy and steel Pokemon, which makes it weak to ground and fire. It resists normal, flying, rock, bug, grass, psychic, ice, dark, and fairy type attacks, and is completely immune to both poison and dragon type moves. Zamazenta in crown shield form is a dual type fighting and steel Pokemon, which makes it weak to fighting, ground, and fire. It resists normal, rock, bug, steel, grass, ice, dragon, and dark type moves, and has complete immunity to poison type attacks. 
Now let's have a look at the stats and abilities of these Pokemon forms. In its Hero of Many Battles form, Zacian has the stats of a typical legendary Pokemon, boasting huge attack and speed with excellent defense and special defense, and even still has commendable HP and special attack. Its only ability is Intrepid Sword, which raises Zacian's attack when it enters battle. This makes Zacian's fantastic attack stat even more deadly, and if it uses Sword Dance on the first turn, it becomes disgustingly strong very quickly. Zamazenta, in its Hero of Many Battles form, has the exact same base Zacian, and its only ability is Dauntless Shield, which raises Zamazenta's defense by one stage when it enters the battle. This obviously gives Zamazenta a much stronger edge to its physical bulk, although do remember a critical hit will ignore the defense boost. In its Crown Sword form, Zacian's speed increases slightly and its attack skyrockets to base 170. Couple that with the fact that it still gets the Intrepid Sword ability, and this thing is a very dangerous Pokemon. Zamazenta in Crown Shield form loses 10 base speed in favor of adding 30 base power to both of its defenses. This gives this legendary Pokemon considerable bulk and makes it so much more difficult to take down. Also one thing to note on these Pokemon, if Zacian or Zamazenta knows Iron Head and enters a battle in Crown Sword form or Crown Shield form respectively, Iron Head will be replaced by Bayamoth Blade or Bayamoth Bash respectively for the duration of the battle, both of which are 100 base power steel type moves that double in power if used against Dynamax or Gigantamax Pokemon. Now it's time for me to decide which of these Pokemon and which of their forms I prefer, and I'm leaning towards Zacian. When I originally saw these Pokemon revealed, I was leaning towards Zamazenta in terms of overall design. I like the look of the shield armor at the front. Didn't really like the fact that Zacian has to carry a sword around its mouth. I know there's like Sif references, like, that goes over my head. I don't know any of that stuff. But then Zacian slowly won me round, and the more I learned about Intrepid Sword, for example, and Zacian's stats in general, I was like, I like the fact that it's quick and hits hard. It's still got the defenses of a legendary, so you don't have to worry too much there. And then, of course, having you used it and used Sword Stance on the first turn, starting a battle basically with plus three attack, it just becomes such an unstoppable force. And even more so when it's in its crown sword form. Like, it's just unbelievably strong. I can see the appeal of Zamazenta absolutely, and I do think it looks that little bit cooler, but Zacian all the way for me. But of course, it's not just up to me. This series is for you to decide which of these Pokemon you prefer. But before you make a decision, you know all the nitty gritty about them. You know all that stuff. But let's have some fun. Let's see them in action on the battlefield using ridiculous moves. It's time for the metronome battle. And of course, you're in luck today because what we're going to do is we're going to have two metronome battles back to back. We're going to have the hero of many battles forms, Zacian versus Zamazenta. And then we're going to have Zacian in its crown sword form against Zamazenta in its crown shield form. Before we get started, though, I will point out these Pokemon have max IVs in all stats, zero EVs in all stats, they've got neutral natures. In the first battle, they're not holding any items, but obviously in the second battle, they're holding the Rusted Sword and Rusted Shield, respectively. The advantages and disadvantages in this battle are obviously going to come from these Pokemon's base stats and their typing. Everything else is all up to the metronome. Let's go. Here we go with Zacian versus Zamazenta. A few of you have asked for this battle and are finally delivered. It's about time on your lovely Tuesday night form fight. Everybody's on the battlefield. I really like the look of that blue Zacian. Ain't it very nice? I say blue Zacian. I should say shiny Zacian to specify which of the blues I prefer. But here we go. We've got Intrepid Swords and Dauntless Shields activated all over the place before we get started. So, of course, Zacian starts the battle with plus one attack each and Zamazenta starts the battle with plus one defense each, which kind of gives the advantage to Zacian because, obviously, Zacian's stat boost won't be ignored by critical hits, whereas Zamazenta's will. But we're going to keep... On the action, it could go either way. Let's see what happens. Regular Zamazenta is going to start things off with Grass Knot. Do be aware these are the hero of many battles forms. We are going to get to the Crown Sword and Crown Shield forms in the next uh, next round. It's going to be straight after this one. If you weren't paying attention before, pay attention, you bloody fool. Here's Flatter on Shiny Zamazenta from Shiny Zation. And now it's over to who's next? Well, I mean, Zamazenta is confused because of that Flatter. And of course, its special attack has increased as well. Now it's over to Regular Zation. What will it do here? It's going to go for Spite, which isn't going to do anything right now. Very unfortunate. No one's used the move on it yet. Shiny Zamazenta is confused, though. Is going to ignore that and go for the Metronome. What's it going to do? Go for Supersonic. Turnabout is fair play. It's going to land on that Shiny Zation that confused it. So now we've got two confused Pokemon on the field. We've got uh, Shiny Zation and Shiny Zamazenta. Both Shinies are confused right now. 
So this battle is very even. No one's really taken that much damage apart from a grass not so far. Shiny Zamazenta is going to ignore the confusion once again. Very lucky on that confusion right there. Going to go for Rock Throw, which is going to do a nice bit of neutral damage to Shinyzation there. Of course, none of these Pokemon have got their Steel Typing just yet. That'll be in the next round. So not as many resistances. Here's a Heavy Slam though. Speaking of resistances, this is a weakness of Zations. So a decent chunk of damage there onto Shinyzation. Of course, Zamazenta really would have preferred to be in its uh, in its steel type form for the stab there and the weight gain that it gets because it's weight practically I think it more than doubles actually there's a decent amount of damage on shiny Zamazenta there from regularization shinyization is confused is going to ignore the confusion as well get ready geared up with that metronome and is going to go for triple kick onto the fighting type Zamazenta there's one hit two hit and three hits there very lovely Great move there. Nice bit of chip damage on Zamazenta. I say chip damage. That was a decent chunk of damage. Each individual bit was chip damage, but then as a whole, the three hits made up a decent chunk of damage there. Here's Acid Armor, though, increasing the defense of the uh, regularization. They're going to zoom that defense up by two stages. Shinyzation is now snapped out of confusion, so no more confusion for Zation. Shinyzation's going to go for overheat. Oh, my word. That's a beautiful move right there, and that is going to do a... Decent bit of chip damage, I'll call that, on Zamazenta. Call me out for it. Down goes the special attack by two stages of Shinyzation. Shiny Zamazenta is confused still, but is going to ignore that confusion to get ready to use confusion on Witcherization, on the Shinyzation that confused it earlier on, bringing it down to less than half its max HP there. And now it's over to the regular Zamazenta, who's going to go for Psycho Shift, but it does fail, unfortunately for Zamazenta there. We're getting ready for the next turn. I really don't know which way this is going right now. I don't want to put money on anybody, but if you've put money on form fights, you silly person, why are you betting on this? Actually, go for it. Why not? Uh, here's an Ember on just for a tiny bit of damage there from uh, Shinyzation onto regular Zamazenta. Regularization's going to go for close combat, which is going to do a decent chunk of neutral damage on that Shiny Zamazenta. Actually didn't do as much as I thought it would, especially with the uh, the attack boost there. But there's, there's the drop in special attack and special defense, unless I missed something, which is probably likely. Here's a clear smog, though, to remove some stat changes, and it should be super effective on Shinyzation from Zamazenta. So no attack boost for Shinyzation there. Stat changes have been removed. Shiny Zamazenta still confused, still ignoring the confusion. Wow, it's really muscling through. Going for Stealth Rock, completely pointless move. You might as well have hit yourself in confusion. You'd have done like, you'd have had more impact on the battle right there with that turn. But the stones are floating around and no one's going to be affected by them. But that's absolutely fine, Zamazenta. You do you. Now it's time for the regular Zamazenta to start the next turn off. And it is going to go for Spirit Shackle. Which again, as we've seen in previous form fights, is the signature move of Decidueye. I love how shocked you're all to learn that Decidueye is in the game. The, uh, Zation can no longer, Shiny Zation can no longer escape. But of course, it can't escape anyway. Down to the danger zone though. Here's Payday from Shiny Zation. Throw some money at it. Toss a coin to your Witcher. That's topical right now, isn't it? Uh, here, that was just a little bit of damage. Bringing Shiny Zamazenta down to less than half its max HP, who is going to fire back with a Skull Bash. It's going to tuck its head in and raise its defense and wait to do a Skull Bash on the next turn. Which Zation is it going to go for? It shouldn't go for the Zation with the 12 hit points, because that would be a bit of a waste. But here's Regular Zation, who is going to go for a Horn Attack onto which of the Zamazenta there? Onto the regular Zamazenta. Huge damage with that critical hit. See what I mean about critical hits making such an impact on Zamazenta because of course the, its defense boost is ignored. My word. Over to regularization to start the next turn off. Wow. What's he going to do now? Going to go for close combat once again. Oh my word. On that regular Zamazenta and takes it down. It's loving close combat right now for a fairy type. It's really enjoying the fighting type moves. It's now at minus two defense and special defense though. So it's got to be very, very careful to avoid the attacks of this shiny Zamazenta. Over to uh, shiny Zation. What will it do here? Going to go for flamethrower. Onto that shiny Zamazenta there, who is the only remaining member of its team for just a little bit of damage there, not too much. Here's that Skull Bash onto that massive defense drop Zacian, who actually tanks it pretty well, to be fair. Like, it took that like an absolute champ, but then Acid Armor from earlier on, remember? Oh, yeah, good point. 
Thank you for telling me that in the comments, and now you're learning in the comments. I hope you're replying to your own comment. There's a low kick from Shiny Zation to Shiny Zamazenta. I hope you're replying to your own comment where you told me about the acid armor. Oh, no, you just remembered it. Fair play. Here's a Dark Pulse from Zation, which will be resisted by Zamazenta. Will it remain in the battle? It will just barely remain in the battle, but it's got an uphill climb if it's going to take out these two Zation. Zamazenta geared up, goes for Magic Powder, changing the Shiny Zation into a Psychic type. See, I remember what it does now. I actually remembered it in the Slowpoke form fight, but I didn't get a chance to say anything because one of the Slowpoke decided to explode on me. But it's okay. Don't worry. I got enough comments reminding me that I had, you know, not quite remembered. Here's an Inferno, though, from the Shiny Zation onto that Zamazenta, and that's going to be it for this round. So, in the Hero of Many Battles forms, Zation reigns victorious there. So, well done to the Zation team, but it's not over yet. It's time to put your armor on, lads. Let's get ready. Or oh, I should say lasses because you're meant to be Zation's sister, aren't you? Zamazenta's sister. Whatever. And here we go, Crown Sword Zacian versus Crown Shield Zamazenta. Will Zamazenta be able to redeem itself after that defeat at the hands of Zacian? We got blades on the field, we got shields on the field. Now it's time for the Intrepid Swords. Isn't it weird that Zacian gets Intrepid Sword when it doesn't have a sword? And Zamazenta gets Dauntless Shield when it doesn't have its shield? Isn't that weird? Just realize that, very strange. We're just trying to fill some time, fill some silence while, the, while all the stats go up. We're not quite done yet. Thank you, Shiny Zamazenta, for joining us. Right, now it's time for some battles. Now it's time for some, it's not actually time for some moves yet. We've got to wait for communication and all that. Thank you, Pass Liam, for being as quick as you can, getting these battle button impact inputs pressed in. Psychic Terrain from Zacian to start things off. Not sure how that's really going to benefit Zation that much. I mean, everybody resists psychic type attacks, but I guess it. Re oh, I was going to say, I guess it removes priority moves, but priority moves don't work in under Metronome because they just get they just get used. Do you know what I mean? Here's a Powder Snow though from Shiny Zation onto both uh, Zamazenta forms. Of course, the Steel typing now is going to make everybody resist freaking everything basically. So not a lot of damage there. Here's Vice Grip though, which I hate the spelling of, from Shiny Zamazenta onto that Shiny Zation for a, a decent chunk of chip damage there for a not very effective move. It was quite good. And then we see the regular Zamazenta who is going to go for a Bone Rush, which will be super effective. That's a super effective pair of hits right there on the, uh, the regular Zation there. There's one hit. There's two hits. That's a great chunk of damage for turn one. Well done to regular Zamazenta there. This is very much in the driver's seat uh, is Zamazenta right now. That's impressive, but it could go either way. Really shiny uh, Zacian starting off the next turn with a Dragon Rush that is going to be resisted, of course, due to that steel typing, but still a great choice of move there. Great chunk of damage on that Zamazenta. Of course, Zacian with its, uh, with the, with, in its crown sword form, going to hit a lot, lot harder. Here's a Meteor Mash from Zacian, which is going to be resisted by shiny Zamazenta, but Look at that power behind it. And now it's over to Shiny Zamazenta to try and retaliate. It's going to go for Withdraw and increase its defenses by another stage. I don't blame it, to be honest. Be a bit worried about critical hits, especially from these Zations if they're using physical hits and super effective moves and all that. But the defense boost is a smart play. Here's Dragon Darts, which doesn't affect Zation. I'd have loved to have seen a Zamazenta use Dragon Darts. Fire out a pair of Dreepy. That, can, can Zation, can you now with the Metronome get Dragon Darts, please? Because I really want to see it. Here's Shiny Zation with Magic Powder. What is it with bloody Magic Powder? I mean, it's a great play because now you're changing Shiny Zamazenta into a Psychic type. That's going to be easy to remember because it's the colors of a Psychic type as well. So thanks for that one. On Shinyization. You've chosen the right Pokemon. Here's Sing, avoided by the opposing Zamazenta, so unlucky for regularization. Regular Zamazenta, who is still a fighting and steel type, goes for the psychic terrain. It fails because the terrain, the psychic terrain is still in effect. Here's the uh, Force Palm. Uh, from the shiny Zamazenta, who is a psychic type now, so that's a nice little force palm right there on that uh, on the regularization. As we get ready for the next turn, regularization is going to start things off, so it's got a chance to fire back at that Zamazenta. Goes for revenge. I mean, that's a great way to fire back on the uh, the shiny Zamazenta. There, not a lot of damage because of that psychic typing, though. Would have been super effective, I believe. It's a fighting type move, right? On the steel type. Fire Blast, though, from Shiny Zacian onto the Shiny Zamazenta. Again, would have been super effective if you'd used it on the regular Zamazenta, who still has that steel typing. So Zamazenta getting very lucky. Here's a blue flare. That will be super effective on the... Oh, my God goodness on the regularization there that was massive damage not quite enough to take Zation down but my word that was impressive here's a pollen puff from the psychic type Zamazenta 
on that regularization there. Is it enough to take it down? I bet you're wondering. Not enough to take it down. That Zacian is in a dangerous position. I love it when you can't quite see whether they've got enough HP or not in form fight. I do that deliberately, you know. Isn't that great? I'm such an arsehole. Here's Poison Tail, though, which is on the Zamazenta that isn't immune to it right now because of that psychic typing, so that's a great move. Didn't get the poison though. And here's Excel Rock from the Shinization there onto that Zamazenta again that doesn't resist it. They're making smart plays on that psychic type Zamazenta right there, who is getting ready to fire back. Going for clear smog. Doesn't affect the steel type Zation team, so a wasted move. Over to regular Zamazenta though, who is going to go for a low kick, which will be neutral. And it's, is it enough? It takes down the regularization. We're down to one Zacian versus two Zamazenta. This is not looking good. The Psychic Terrain has disappeared, but this is not looking good for this shiny Zacian right now. It's in a difficult position, but it does still have an advantage if it can get critical hits and if it can get those attacks off. And of course, there's no steel typing on the shiny Zamazenta, so it could be picked off quite easily. Goes for Soft Boiled, which is probably a great play. Let's see how much HP it's got right now. Eh, probably a wasted turn, to be honest. Could have used that a bit later on, but it's always good to be at full health, I guess, against any opponent, especially when you're against a pair of opponents. Here's Zamazenta with the super effective Fire Lash, though. How much damage is that going to do? Massive chunk of damage there to that uh, Shinization and drops its defense by one stage, bringing it almost down to half its max HP. Shiny Zamazenta is ready and prepared. Going to go for Thunder Wave and try and paralyze, I will succeed in paralyzing the Shiny Zation there, which is just further crippling this Pokemon. It's certainly going to be uphill now for this Zation. If it wants to win this, it needs to do a big power play, maybe do something massively super effective to take out regular Zamazenta, because that's the biggest threat here for it, I think. Here's a super effective Blaze Kick, though, with that defense drop on the Zation. Huge! damage and down goes Zacian from the Blaze Kick. So the Zamazenta team have won it and we don't have a shiny Zamazenta appearing in the Pokedex so I'm sorry it just has to be the regular one. But congratulations to Zamazenta for clawing it back. Well done. So you've heard what I've got to say. You've seen these Pokemon on the battlefield, but now it's time for you to make your decision. Which of these two legendary Pokemon do you prefer? Is it Zacian or Zamazenta? And which of the two alternate forms do you prefer? Is it the Hero of Many Battles forms, or is it Crown Sword and Crown Shield? Let me know in the comments and explain to everybody why your pick is the absolute best. And that'll do it for another episode of Form Fight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to support the channel like these lovely people down here do, pledge to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Ace Trainer Liam. And of course, save yourself some money on G Fuel using code ACE at checkout, but until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam, keep on training.